Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creations. I thought I would do a, it's not really a tutorial because I've only done this once. Uh, it's kind of a learn with me, if you will, because what I'm doing is I'm working on the cover for my October monthly journal. Now, if you follow me at all, you know that I make monthly journals. So there's my September, my August, my July. So now we're on to October. I have de decided that for the last half of this year, I'm going to make, I'm going to just use one paper pack for the covers for all of them. So I am using the paper pack by Prima that is the Spring Farmhouse paper pad. And you can see it's just got all these gorgeous colors. I love the farmhouse feel with the gold pieces on it. So there's a lot of gold foil on this pack. I love all that. And somebody called this farmhouse glam. I like that. That's kind of, I think that works well. And this is by Frank Garcia as well. But what I wanted to do is I'm using this piece and this one, the foil parts, I'm putting on the inside. So I wanted to do some gold foiling on the outside. I got these, um, I got a triple pack actually of these. They come in three different sizes uh, from We Are Memory Keepers. And I got this from scrapbook.com. So I will put that link below. And they come in three different sizes. So you have your really fine point, and I'm not going to touch it because this one is hot. You have to heat them for about five minutes before they'll work. Then there's a medium point, and then there's a nice large point. So today I'm going to use the really fine point one because I'm going to use this Tim Holtz well-loved and used stencil for this project. So what you're supposed to do is use this low tack, which basically is washi tape, so you could use any washi tape, but you need it to be low tack because you don't want to tear all of your um, foil off. And this, because it was the triple pack, it actually came with uh, three different color foils. There's a rose gold, there's a silver, and then there is even a, um, and then there's the regular gold. And today I'm going to use the regular gold. And you can see I've actually just cut the little tiny corners off. So I made a mini folder or a mini journal and I used that and just created, I don't know if you can actually see the foil on there, but I just used that gold foil to make the corners. Today we're gonna to use more of the foil to, um, I just wanna put some of this rose pattern on here because there's all these other roses. And I thought that would be really pretty. So I don't need a ton of foil. I'm going to cut this one off. Just trying to grab a pair of scissors here. So I, I, I need probably about that much foil. Let's just cut that right off. And it would probably help if I had a better pair of scissors. <laughs> These are probably my worst pair that I own. I'm just going to tape this down. Now you tape it actually, oh, Shoot, now I can't even remember which way you tape it because I remember whatever I did last time, I did it wrong, but I'm pretty sure it goes gold foil up. Let's try that. The last time I did this, I did it completely upside down and it didn't work. <laughs> but let's make sure we have enough foil covering this. And it looks like we do. So I'm just going to tape this down with a little bit of this washi tape. It does want to curl up because it's been curled for so long. I'm just gonna put another piece over here. So we have this beautiful gold foil here and I'm just going to do the image right here of this rose. I'm gonna put it down in this corner and I'm gonna center this a little better. I'm just going to trace some of this not the whole thing and we'll see how this comes out so I'm going to start with the rows in the middle and one of the things you want to do is just move really slowly because it 
takes a little bit of time for this to work and I'm just going around the edges of this. Some of this will get um, put, some of this will fill in. Um, I felt like for today, I just wanted to kind of go around the edges and maybe not fill everything in. Um, maybe I will just do the rose itself so you're not sitting here bored watching me this whole time. Um, I've seen several other people use this. I follow a gal, she goes by Softy on Instagram, uh, but it's got some numbers behind it and I honestly don't remember those numbers. And so... And sometimes I go back and fill things in. You can go fill things in. So maybe we'll go back and fill some of this in. I know that I needed to, um, so let's stop a second. I wanna see if I'm doing this right and if the gold foil is actually coming off. So you can see that's coming out beautifully underneath. So let's just finish this rose and I will show you then how this looks when we're done. And then I'll finish the rest of this later and you'll have to come back and see my other video that will be the flip through of this um, cover and this journal. So I'm just filling it in and you don't need a lot of pressure. I'm just going kind of maybe about the pressure that I would use for a pen or a pencil. And then I'm going to color this in. And one of the things I found is I can go this way. And then if I'll at least go back this way, go the opposite direction, that helps really fill this in. And it does say to move kind of slowly and I'm probably not moving real slowly for this. But I think if, like I said, I think if I go back and forth both directions, we'll get this whole rose. So here's some more over here. And the nice thing is, I don't know if you can see how that is now starting to fill in. Um, but you can see where you've missed if you've missed anything. So I'm just going to go across this way and then we'll go back the other way just to make sure it all gets filled in. So now I'm going to go this way and again like I said I'm not an expert on this but this is just something I kind of have found works well for me and we're just trying to get this whole rose so I hope everybody is doing well I'm I have not had much chance to craft as a teacher I'm also a school teacher that's my superpower and I teach life skills at our local school and I have not had much time to craft because I'm also very active with Boy Scouts and shooting sports and all kinds of other things. So my weekends have been taken up and um, I went full time this year. I had been kind of part time in the past few years and it, um, it's been really hard on me this time. I know when there's a big life change kind of like taking on a, a new job or expanding your hours in a job you have that that is some of the things that can just really be draining I guess is a good word for it so I'm hoping that over these next few weeks life will settle down we can only wish right and I'm hoping that I will be able to um, you know, get more crafting and get back to making journals. I started a journal at the beginning of September and I have only gotten as far as actually the, um, the cover is done. 
So I don't know how long it takes you guys to make a journal. Sometimes I can make a journal in about a weekend. And sometimes it takes a lot longer. All right, so I'm just doing this leaf as well because I may declare this done. I may decide that this is all I want to do. And we'll take a look at it and see where we are and how this looks. And I'm just going to peel this back because I don't want to move all of this. Um, oh, let's do this leaf too. We'll just do this leaf as well. And this is still plugged in. Um, I've left it plugged in. Uh, it comes with a USB port. So I just have a little cube that I use that's plugged in as well to kind of keep it hot. So it's apparently the heat that transfers the foil over onto whatever it is you're foiling. So let's take a look. Let's see how this turned out. You can see the rose image, so hopefully most of this transferred. And I'm just going to peel this real slowly back. I don't have fingernails, so oh, let's get creative and use a tool. And let's see how that turned out. Oh, interesting. So I don't know if you can see on this, but you actually can see the scribble lines on it. And I think that turned out actually really cute with the scribble lines on it. So probably if I don't want those scribble lines all on it, one of the things that I'm guessing I could do is I could have heated up this other one that's more broad and use that in the really big spaces. But I'm actually really happy with that. I may leave that just there and go on and decorate the rest. I was thinking I was going to do more, but I actually just like how that turned out. So I hope that was helpful that you saw someone who really doesn't know what they're doing actually use one of these. So that is, these are so easy to use. They're just like a pen or a pencil. They actually have this soft grippy part. They do come with three different foils and some washi tape that you can uh, just use it. It's low tack tape to hold things down. And then the washi tape actually has these leaves on it. If you wanted to put the washi tape over it and just draw leaves, you could use this as a guide. I hope that you've learned something new. I hope this was helpful to you, and I hope that I have encouraged you to be creative today. Bye.